Have you ever wondered which is the oldest country in the world? Among all the countries that exist today, which one has been around the longest? Now I should start by saying that this question has no correct answer. There are so many complications that arise when trying to tackle this question. Some modern day countries can trace their history back to the dawn of civilization, even before the invention of writing. Pinpointing exactly when a country started can be very difficult, and it's all about personal opinion. To illustrate these difficulties, let's consider the example of France. So, how old is France? France's origins can be traced back to the year 481, when a group of Germanic people known as Franks established the Kingdom of the Franks, also known as Francia. In 843, the kingdom was divided into three parts, one of which was West Francia, and it eventually evolved into the Kingdom of France. One could argue that the country began with the establishment of the kingdom in 987, or even with the French Revolution in 1792, when it became a republic. Alternatively, one could consider the current constitution of the Fifth Republic in 1958 as the defining moment. So, when did France become a country? 481, 843, 987, 1792, or even as recently as 1958? The point is, the line needs to be drawn somewhere, and not everyone is going to agree on where. It is subjective and can vary depending on personal opinion. Moving back to ancient civilizations, the general consensus among historians is the so-called cradle of civilization theory, which states that several civilizations developed independently of each other. The four primary cradles are Mesopotamia, Egypt, the Indus Valley, and the Yellow River Civilization. Now, three of these would ultimately go on to become countries that exist today. Ancient Egypt is the obvious one. The Indus Valley eventually became India, and the Yellow River civilizations marked the beginnings of Chinese history. So, let's start with Egypt. Egypt is renowned for its ancient history, including the pyramids and the Sphinx. Ancient Egypt was divided into Upper and Lower Egypt before being united around 3150 BCE. It had a long and rich history, lasting for over 3,000 years before the Common Era. However, Egypt has been ruled by various civilizations throughout its history, such as Persians, Greeks, Romans, Arabs, Ottomans, and British, making it challenging to determine the exact starting point of the country as it exists today. Egypt gained independence from British rule in 1922. In 1953, the country became a republic, and King Farouk was overthrown in a military coup led by Gamal Abdel Nasser. Egypt's full sovereignty was not achieved until the full withdrawal of British troops in 1956, following the Suez Crisis. Now let's talk about India. India has a long and rich history, with the Indus Valley civilization flourishing around 3,300 to 1,300 BCE. This ancient civilization, known for its advanced urban planning and sophisticated craftsmanship, predates the Vedic period that began around 1500 BCE. Following the decline of the Indus Valley Civilization, India witnessed the rise of numerous political entities and kingdoms, with the Maurya Empire being the first to unify much of India in 322 BCE, and the Gupta Empire often referred to as the Golden Age of India which flourished from around 320 to 550 CE, until the Mughal Empire took control in the 16th century. Then, the British colonized India in the mid-19th century, until it gained independence in 1947 and became the Republic of India in 1950. Now let's discuss China. China is another ancient civilization with a complex history. Legendary accounts suggest that the Shia dynasty was founded around 2070 BCE, but the historical evidence is limited. The first dynasty with substantial archaeological evidence is the Shang dynasty, which ruled from approximately 1600 to 1046 BCE, and followed by the Qin dynasty, which unified China for the first time in 221 BCE. The country went through various dynasties including the Han, Tang, Song, Ming, and Qing dynasties, lasting for over two millennia until the Republic of China was established in 1912. Then, the Communist Party led by Mao Zedong emerged victorious in the Chinese Civil War, leading to the formation of the People's Republic of China in 1949. Now let's talk about Iran. Iran, formerly known as Persia, has been home to an array of ancient civilizations, starting from the Kura Araxes culture in 3400 BCE, followed by the Proto Elamite culture, Giroft culture, Elamite civilization, and the Medes. 
These cultures laid the groundwork for a history that can be formally traced back to 625 BCE, when several Median tribes unified into a centralized state. The Achaemenid Empire, founded in 550 BCE, became the largest empire of its time. Iran's history includes the rise and fall of various dynasties, and the Islamic Revolution led to the establishment of the Islamic Republic of Iran, with Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini as its supreme leader in 1979. Now, let's discuss Greece. Greece is renowned for its ancient civilization and is often considered the birthplace of Western civilization. The country has a complex history, with the first advanced civilization on the Greek mainland being Mycenaean Greece around 1600 BCE. The classical period, marked by Greek city-states and philosophers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, lasted from the 5th to the 4th century BCE. The conquest of Alexander the Great led to the Hellenistic period, which began in 323 BCE after his death. Greece was later conquered by the Romans in the 2nd century BCE and later became part of the Byzantine Empire and Ottoman rule, before gaining independence in 1821 and becoming the modern Hellenic Republic. Now let's talk about Japan. Japan's foundation is attributed to Emperor Jimmu in 660 BCE. However, there is little historical evidence for the first nine emperors. Japan's monarchy is the oldest continuous hereditary monarchy with the imperial line believed to have existed for over 2,600 years. And the country went through various periods of rule including Heian, Kamakura, Muromachi, Edo, and Meiji periods. It underwent significant changes in the modern era, including its involvement in World War II. In the post-war period, Japan experienced a period of reconstruction and emerged as a major economic power. These are just a few examples, and there are numerous other countries with ancient histories. The determination of the world's oldest country is subjective and dependent on the criteria used. Egypt, with its long-standing civilization and cultural heritage, can be considered one of the oldest countries. However, other contenders like China, India, Iran, Japan, and Greece also have valid claims. Ultimately, there is no definitive answer, and the debate continues. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing facts.